Hello. Welcome to Antcast by Ant Group. It's a podcast that brings you deep into conversations with global thinkers, innovators, and entrepreneurs on groundbreaking technology and how they're shaping our lives for better or for worse. I'm your host, R.T. Warfield, coming to you from London. I am the head of Europe Communications for Ant Group. We're a company that believes technology can make our world green, sustainable, and more inclusive, as long as we use it in the right way. Over the past decade, online shopping has exploded in a huge way. From Cyber Monday to Amazon Prime Day to Singles Day, the convenience and great deals on offer have attracted consumers around the world to take part. Today, I'll be taking you on a sneak peek behind the scenes of the 11 Global Online Shopping Festival, which originated in China as Singles Day, but has turned into one of the world's largest online retail extravaganzas. So where did it come from? For those of you who haven't heard of Double Eleven, it originated in China as Singles Day. Singles Day is an unofficial public holiday in China, which takes place every year on the 11th of November. Its original establishment was for celebrating singlehood for bachelors. But since 2009, it has transformed into a shopping festival with big promotions and broad consumer reach. But different from Black Friday, where it began from physical retail then expanding to online shopping, China's Singles Day Shopping Day started as an online shopping festival and then spread to offline retail. The Double Eleven Global Shopping Festival began in 2009 with the participation of just 27 merchants. But last year, more than a quarter of a million brands from around the world participated. For more about Double Eleven, here is David Lloyd, General Manager of the UK, Netherlands and Nordics at Alibaba Group. So 1111 is a shopping festival that started in China, uh, but is becoming increasingly global. It's around about 12 years old now. Uh, started as an idea for a shopping festival for single people in China. Uh, in the first year, I think less than 30 brands took part. Uh, There's probably a little under $10 million in sales. Uh, but what's happened is that the public in China have really taken it to heart and they really now enjoy Double Eleven. They look forward to it so much that, you know, the majority, uh, if not all, of uh, internet consumers in China take part. There were last year around 200,000 plus brands who participated in Double Eleven. 30,000 of those brands were from overseas. So it's truly a global phenomenon. Uh, and it grows at an incredible pace. So, so it's not just a shopping event, it's actually become a kind of cultural phenomenon in China. And what we're seeing increasingly is it taking place more across Southeast Asia with Lazada. We've seen AliExpress uh, doing double uh, eleven events in Europe. And I think we're gonna see that more and more as it really builds itself into the consciousness of people, not just in China, but outside. So I think it's the most exciting uh, shopping festival in the world. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in 2021. That was David Lloyd of Alibaba Group. This celebrated event has far surpassed sales figures of the corporate sales holidays Black Friday and Boxing Day combined. For many brands, Double Eleven is the single biggest growth driver every year, raising awareness about the value of online shopping. Alipay plays a crucial role in the world's biggest shopping festival. The key to a successful online shopping experience is a convenient, fast, safe, and stable payment process, no matter the scale of the transaction. During the Double Eleven Global Shopping Festival in 2019, the peak payment transactions per second were almost half a million. To keep all the transactions safe and efficient is obviously not an easy task. Ant Group's proprietary technology ensures that it can sustain high performance at scale while maintaining the delivery of secured services and a superior user experience. 
So how does the digital payment platform Alipay manage to process billions of transactions during Singles Day? During the 11.11 Global Shopping Festival in 2019, a distributed relational database management system developed by Ant Group called OceanBase handled a peak of more than 60 million processes per second. To tell us a little bit more about the technology that supports digital transactions on 11, here is Chuang Hui Yang, the Chief Technology Officer of OceanBase. For the 11 Shopping Festival, OceanBase has been supporting the festival's trading system since 2014. Imagine that our system needs to process hundreds of thousands of payment requests instantly, and each payment request will send several hundred database requests to OceanBase. The biggest technical challenge is to smoothly support the peak transactions in the first few seconds. I remember the peak request of 11 2019 reached 61 million queries per second which is dozens of times higher than usual. To securely process all of the requests, OceanBase has two core technologies to make this happen, ultimate scalability and ultimate performance. Through our online elastic scaling capabilities, we can add a large number of servers from the cloud to immediately enhance the processing capability of our database. In addition, OceanBase performs at a very high level, and we continue to optimize the concurrent performance of our database every year to reduce our total cost. The biggest challenge for a distributed database is how can we ensure the data consistency under distributed architecture. And I think the extreme scenarios of 11 has demonstrated our, our risk control capabilities. OceanBase deploys tens of thousands of servers to support 11, and server failure always occur on that day. But whenever a server failure occurs, OceanBase can achieve automatic fault tolerance by our high availability function, which moves the service from the failed server to operating servers automatically and guaranteeing the entire switching process has no impact on the business process. So, from our users' experience, they wouldn't notice a difference. That was Chuang Hui Yang of OceanBase. Double Eleven is not only limited to Chinese brands. In 2020, there were over 31,000 overseas brands participating in the event, including Apple, Estee Lauder, Nike, Adidas, and so on. So what is it like to participate in Double Eleven for overseas consumers? Let's hear about the Double Eleven experience of shopper Louis Raffin, who's in London. Um, so my double eleven shopping experience normally begins at one minute past midnight on the 11th of November. Um, I like to stay up because I'm quite excited and, um, you know, it's good to see the deals that happen straight away. Um, so I did everything uh, in my app on my phone. Um, I, like, I knew I was looking for uh, sportswear, so I just was able to search quite easily, sort and filter by what I wanted. So once I'd been through three or four merchants, um, I was able to make my choices, um, put them in the basket, and then um, when it came to paying, I was able to keep everything uh, on my phone um, without having to go and look for my card and stuff like that. So it was just very simple redirect function from the app to my card acquirer. And yeah, that kept it nice and simple and frictionless. That was UK Double Eleven shopper Louis Raffin. Double Eleven is not only a Chinese phenomenon. It is also starting to take place in other regions such as Southeast Asia. 
To tell us more about Double Eleven online shopping and digital payments, let's hear from Vincent Iswara, the CEO of a company called Dana. Dana is an Indonesian technology company that enables a daily lifestyle digital payment that replaces conventional wallet. We proudly built and developed the platform in Indonesia with the support of more than 800 employees, consisting of more than 60% of local tech engineers. Now, as of September 2021, we already have over 85 million users across Indonesia. The single stay on November 11 has been celebrated since 2016 in Southeast Asia, including Indonesia. It has become the largest online shopping day in the world and one of the most awaited shopping festivities by most Indonesian, as they can receive their favorite items at the best price. The pandemic does not affect the festivities of the single stay celebrations, but instead has driven many Indonesian to do online transactions. According to Nielsen Indonesia, the online transaction during single stay achieved 11.6 trillion rupiah, and the numbers increased 27.4% year on year. This upcoming 11-11, though, will only be our third single stay event. To date, we have processed over a billion transactions this year alone, and we feel like we're just starting. There are more big things coming ahead of us. Our biggest challenge is to keep our festivities and offerings fresh and exciting for consumers. The single stay concept has been so successful, and many digital platforms have copied and heavily promoting it. But we always have something up our sleeves. We have prepared this since the beginning of the year, and I'm sure this is going to be another record-breaking month for Dana's growth. That was Vincent Iswara of Indonesian digital payment company Dana. Double Eleven is not only a way for large companies and brands to reach customers, but also an excellent way for SMEs to grow their businesses. Let's hear more about that experience from Hui Shu. The owner of Chip Chip Shop, a women's clothing brand from China. Hello, my name is Hui Shi. I'm the owner of Chip Chip Shop. We are a new generation women's wear brand that started in 2020, and our main retail avenue is online through Taobao. So digital payment has been greatly enable our business, making our product available for customer to purchase in China and abroad. Double Eleven is not just a one-day event now. It started from the first day of November. Just in the first few hours of November first, has been very exciting for me, since it is the first Double Eleven we attended as a shop. I can see the sales numbers are going up very quickly every single second. So it started at twelve a.m. I can literally feel everyone is purchasing. At that moment, even people from overseas. At twelve thirty, I already have more than three hundred orders, and by the end of the day, there were more than five hundred orders. About ten percent of those orders are shipped to abroad. Well, no doubt Taobao and AliPay has been a great platform for us, because we all know it is impossible for any offline shop to complete so many orders in such a short time. That was Hui Shi of Chip Chip Shop. The global shopping festival is truly an incredible phenomenon that excites both consumers and online retailers. And thanks to digital payment technologies that have been developed to support these massive online shopping events, more and more people around the world are able to enjoy them in a convenient and safe way. As we see more global regions joining this phenomenon, we believe online payments are making businesses and commerce more convenient and accessible for everyone. That's it for this edition of Antcast. So you do not miss a single episode. Please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. I'm your host, R.T. Warfield, coming to you from London. Thank you for listening. Talk to you again soon.